Good day everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and I received an email from Michael Ismolyansky. Okay, he asked me, Dear Nelka, I have 20 years experience in AGI 32, Ooh, but not with Dialux. I'm start to study Dialux 10. Okay, so it's Dialux Evo. As a tool possible to work with Revit files. My questions. So he has two questions. How can we show Luminaire name and mounting height on layout, not in drawing export, like in AGI 32? And the other question is, how can I import 3D file from SketchUp? Okay, so the first question, uh, the second question, I already created one video about that. So I will just give you the link of this video, Michael. For the first question, okay, so he's using AGI 32 and yeah, AGI 32 can show this um, luminar type, like for example, L1 and the mounting height, which is 11. And it's very cool for a, a calculation report if you can show this to your client. So, Michael, in Dialux Evo 10, okay, so let's go now here in my previous project. So, um, if you go to the documentation and you go to this luminaire layout plan, it will only give you this number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And if you go on the bottom part of this report, you can see that the mounting height here is on the table, like 7 meters and some are in 11 meters height. And the luminaire type is there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, you cannot see this one in Dialux Evo. Okay, I'm sorry, but there is no such thing in Dialux Evo. Okay, even if I already labeled my luminaire like L1 here and the lower lumen output is L2, you cannot see it in the plan but you can see it in the report like you can see the label of uh, luminaire is l1 here and l2 there okay but the only solution that i can give you this is a little crazy but if you are really persistent to show it to your client of course there is a way if there's a will there's a way okay so michael this is a little crazy and very a little time consuming but if you really want to show it to your client then it's 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 a little it's okay okay so how to do that is just go to the construction tab and select this t or helpline and labeling and then place new text and then click here and then type say for example l1 mh 11 meters and then apply boom okay if you like this one okay you can edit like l1 and then enter and then apply okay so this is fine and then just control c and control v yeah or i don't know if you can copy along the line copy along the line and then type three pieces and then apply <laughs> okay this is my first time to do it so okay you can also do copy along the line so just be very careful in copying it so you either control C and control V and then you can also do copy along the line. Okay, Michael, I hope this is a little okay with you. Yeah. And this one, for example, this is L2. Oh, okay. And then if it's L2, you can also control C and control V and then put it down and then uh, just edit the type. And make this one as L2 and the mounting height is, um, I'm not sure, this is 7 meters, I think. And then press apply. Now you have L2 and then this is L1. Okay. Let me just arrange it properly. And then this one just controls your control V again if you like or again copy along the line. And then how many is this? One, two, three, four, five. So just type five there and then press apply. And move. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and if you go to the documentation, surprise, surprise. There you. Oh, yes. You can see it now. 
So let me just zoom it a little so you can see it properly. There you go. So you can see L1, MH11, then L2, need to put it down, and then MH7 um, meters. Why the others are not there? Oh, because it's copy along the line. Okay, let's just break this one. So ungroup. So now it's ungrouped. Make sure you need to uh, make sure you ungroup it. This is crazy. Okay, let's just ungroup it. Okay, so I ungroup this one and also this one. Just press ungroup. Right click and move so you can see it properly. And this one also ungroup and move it there properly. And go to, go back to the documentation and let's see. Boom. Okay. I don't see it properly here. Let me just refresh it. So I just uncheck the, the text and then I will uh, text it again, open it again. Okay, so this is a little crazy because the, the uh, arrangement, let me just remove these apertures. Okay, so if I copy along the line, it's not working properly. So yes, it's very time consuming then. <laughs> You just need to copy and paste. I don't know why it's like this. This is a little crazy, right? Yeah, it's not showing. Okay, so let's just delete this one. And again, Control C and then Shift, Control C and Control V. Maybe this one will be will work. So just Copy all together, Shift, Control C and Control V. Okay, so if cop, uh, copy along the line is not working, then we can just um, Control C or Shift and then Control C and Control V. And then copy all together, Control C, Control V, and down. Okay, let's just look at it. Perfect. All right. So now, Michael, you have your solution. So let's go and zoom it. Now you can see now in the report that you now have the L1 mounting height is 11 and then L2 is mounting height is 7. All right, so I hope this helps. It's a little time consuming, but it's doable. All right, so I hope you learned something today and I also learned something today. Thank you so much for your question. So if you want to learn more, go and visit my Udemy courses, The Last Evo for Beginners, Advanced Users, and other lighting design topics. And okay, don't forget to subscribe. So see you again on the next video.